the weather guys just spoiled our summer with rain and all that, so I decided to do something cool. So here it is. That's not what you expected? Well, it's exactly what I expected. Mm. It's a foot for the Mavic that just broke off when I landed it in a tree. Another two feet for the Mavic. That's not what I expected. In every MacBook's life, there is this point when it starts to breathe like an old man at the simplest tasks. So when this time comes, I think it's high time to refresh the thermal paste. That's something I picked up on the internet, I'm not really sure. And contemplating about it, I think it's rather risky to open the machine that you work with every day and you earn your money with to do something that could actually destroy your computer. But even though I'm opening my MacBook Pro from time to time to get rid of the dust and the ventilation system and the heat sinks, I didn't really dare to disassemble it any further than taking off the backplate. That was until I watched some of the videos Louis Rossman, link in the description, takes when he disassembles MacBook Pros to repair them as his profession. He doesn't tell you to open your MacBook Pro, but he encourages you to use your brain. And my brain said, I can do that. And an important disclaimer, my text declaration clearly states I'm an artist. I have no idea how this is done. So please trust one of the tutorials at iFixit, link below. And uh... well, here's a quick lesson I learned today. That thermal paste I ordered online, which I waited for one week. If you have a shop in your town, One more thing, you will need a second computer to do this. Two reasons. One, you have to follow the instructions on iFixit and you have to be able to Google in case something goes wrong. The second reason, you will have to have a backup machine on which you can work. Never do something like this without a backup machine. Now here's a little trick I learned at the iFixit repair store. If you have screws like that, they might get lost. You shouldn't hang on to the way you used to feel about me, feel about me. You know that we could just be friends if you forget about me, forget about me. All this shit that we've been through, you can't just say I'm sorry, but I'm sorry. You shouldn't hang on to the way you used to feel about me. This is why I strongly advise you get a set of new screws because those screws if you open them like three times you're done. Okay so um, off to the test. To make things a little easier to understand for me and to measure the success of what I'm doing to my bread and butter machine here I will run some Geekbench and Cinebench 
benchmarking and while that measuring the temperature and the performance of the chip and then I will redo those tests with the new thermal paste installed. I guess that might sort of help me figure out if it was a good idea or not to do this. Right now this machine is sitting on uh, little wooden blocks to achieve some airflow underneath. It is not perfect, but it's how I work. <laughs> They told me I should actually work on a machine for one day before I benchmark it a second time. So um, one day passed, I worked a little on it, editing videos, uh, watching other videos. <laughs> I'm the first loser! So even though the fans didn't really jump in, the temperature remained a little lower. After all, it felt really good to refresh the thermal paste in this computer. And our benchmarking showed that maybe the temperatures went down a little and it behaves a little faster. After all, I think it's good for the machine to have a decent cooling. So maybe it's not too bad. Still, I don't recommend this if you are not into screwing open your bread and butter machine. You shouldn't do this if you don't trust yourself. I don't trust myself that much.